Hi, I'm a postdoctoral fellow in Dr. Yang Dan's lab at the University of California, Berkeley. I'm the first author of this study. Top-down modulation or visual processing can powerfully impact what we see. For example, at first glance, these two pictures look very similar, and it's hard to see the differences. But once our attention is directed to each location, the difference becomes quite obvious. The prefrontal cortex plays an important role in top-down modulation. In the mouse, cingulate cortex modulates visual processing. In addition to direct cortical cortical projections to visual cortex, which have been studied extensively, there are also cortical text neurons projecting to the superior colliculus and the lateral posterior nucleus. We know that cortical text neurons and cortical cortical neurons are separate populations. In this study, we tested how cortical text neurons affect the top-down modulation. To measure visual perception at the behavior level, we trained head fixed mice on a go no go discrimination task. During each trial, either a go or no go stimulus was presented. Licking in go trials was rewarded. Licking in no go trials was punished. We measured the performance by discriminability based on the hit rate and the force sum rate. We use a dual virus strategy to label cortical tactile neurons selectively with either chandopsin 2 to activate the neurons or inhibitory opsin S++ to inactivate the neurons. Activating these neurons causes strong improvement in the performance. Inactivating these neurons causes impairment. This indicates that cortical taxon neural activity is important for visual processing. Cortical pyramidal neurons often send axon conductors to multiple burn regions so what are the downstream pathways underlying this effect? Activation of CG axons in the SC improved the task performance. Activating S neurons in deep layers also improved the performance. An important projection target of YC neurons is the LP. The mouse LP is homolog of the primate Pauvinar. Activation of SC axons in the LP improved the performance. And activation of LP neurons also improve the performance. LP neurons project to V1, so we wonder whether this pathway modulates V1 responses. We did a cell touch recordings in a weak head fixed mice. This is an example of V1 neurons responding to drifting gratings at different orientations and its orientation tuning curve. Activation of SC neurons, SC to LP projection or LP neurons strongly increase the amplitude of the response without changing the shape of the tuning curve. In addition to the SC, these CG neurons also send axon connectors to the LP. The SC projects to posterior LP, but the CG projects to anterior LP. Activation of CG axons in the anterior LP causes strong enhancement of both the behavior performance and V1 responses to drifting gratings. Direct activation of anterior LP neurons cause similar behavior and neuronal effects. In summary, activating or inactivating CG cortical text neurons strongly modulates visual behavior. Activating each stage of the CG SC posterior LP pathway enhances behavior and V1 responses. A subset of SA projecting CG neurons send axon connectors to anterior LP. Activating each stage of the CG anterior LP pathway also enhances behavior and V1 responses. Here we show that cortical type neurons in mouse anterior cingulate cortex exert a powerful top down relation of visually guided behavior and visual cortical responses through connector projections to two subcortical targets the superior colliculars and the popular sentiments. Mm -hmm.